Welcome back. Like you can actually just check sometimes when you when you're watching Dota and you see a pause, check if someone makes a mistake in the next like two three minutes. Ooh, they're going mid. They've got three heroes here, and there's that tree dance coming through with the primal spring. They're going to try and get this kill on a Makoto. Balance strike, first blood for no one. Looking at Ponyo as he's run under the tower. The laser oh. comes through the last hits for no one. And meanwhile, WS kills off Watson in the bottom lane. But a double kill for your mid laner is always going to feel pretty nice. A leap forward, trying to still get this kill on a WS as no one just focuses on CSing while this Slardar leaves. Yeah, because it's minute seven. The Wisdom Rune is about to spawn as well. And if they can keep this pressure, they can take this Wisdom Rune. And now, Balance Strike, Ponyo walking over towards Fishman, but Jokum, he's going to be in trouble. And they've got the kill there onto the Batrider. Ponyo trying to body block Fishman, but he's got Nightmare. So I mean, the Wisdom Rune was always his. They pick up the Wisdom Rune. They're going to get another kill. No one now dominating with a double kill in that situation. He's got all four kills for the side of Cloud9. Fishman going to try and kill himself to neutrals, which he's successful with. Dude, oh, unbelievable. Like, like he farms and farms and defends and defends. But he's not even the most important hero there is WS now. Slither and Crush. Epicenter used. Laser comes through. Repel and the survival, at least for the Slardar. They're going to look Back. over to the side and they've got themselves the Fiend's Grip onto the Bat Rider. They'll get themselves a second. So two more there for the side of Cloud9. WS, no one's here. Boundless strike. They will again have repels. Nice They're in repel. crush, and they might want to turn this around. They've got the bash. They'll have the static link. They'll look over at no one who used the Wukong's command. He's going to be dead. That's a five times spree taken out of his hands. Epicenter, but Makoto still living. The lasso out of the Marana. Oh, they go to the Fiend's Grip. They'll kill Akashi. They're going to look to clean up everybody else. WS ends up falling. Makoto and Jokam looking at whether or not they want to go in, but they get the kill to Jokam. They'll look over at the rest. Is the fall of the Nightmare from the Omni Knight. Now it's going to be a full oh, team a wipe as Ponyo is the last one to run. And the arrow will connect. Triple kill for Watson. And despite the fact that they lost the Monkey King, everybody dies on the side of Talon. The way he died was a little bit reckless. Like yeah. He died way yeah. too fast. I agree with that. And the fact there that DM survives, because he's got that early Bloodstone. Balance yeah. Strike on it too. This might be back-to-back -back good fights here for Cloud9. Katoven's got these machines down on the fight. They get the Kona Joke and they'll lose WS. They'll find Akashi, and now they've got the Glaive near locking him up. But do they have the damage? Tinker spotted for a moment, and Akashi's gonna leave this fight with the balance strike. It lands out of the razor, and Makoto is dead. Three heroes gone again on Talon, and it, it's 16 minutes in, but it's an 11,000 net worth lead. The kid's got Manta, but no Vlads, nothing like that. So he's not super active at the moment. He he can join the fights, oh. but he's not nearly as strong. Ponyo? Yeah. It was a while to find this, but <laughs> even holding the boundless. Tinker now ahead of the uh, Marana, by the way. <laughs> Classic. Oh, balance strike. Wukong's command going to go for the Razor. Makoto in trouble. And Makoto dead. They're forced to. Not necessarily forced to. Maybe they wanted to, but they were. They have to, in this case, buy a BKB. I saw. But Jokam's dead. They, they have a BKB on Slardar, BKB on Akashi. Oh, you're 20k behind. You're not winning any 4v5 fights. It's, Akashi. it's just not happening. He was trying to push out mid and it's away from DM. He's actually going to TP back home. They go to the Wukong's command and no one's in deep here. He's not the one who's got the Aegis, but I don't know if he's going to be the one who cares too much. They go to the Glatenir and he should care because he is quite low, but he's still surviving with the Jingu. How is he surviving? Akashi's dead. Makoto's gone. Ponyo also falls. Balance nice Strike takes out WS and they'll call GG. He had a sliver of health left. You have to be worried, you know, like you get cogged. Morphling is just baiting you, bros. It's it's fine. <laughs> Because of this, like if he cogs you, like then Drow can dish out a ton of damage from distance. Pro Trek hits Sue, Fishman low, he's going down for first blood. Nicely done. And this guy, like with the hookup, actually, uh, it's got a funny name, haha. It's not about the pun, it's like uh, the cooldown is very low. 
TP, no one trying to survive this. The Shrapnels are down. Kesaomi is here. Blood Grenade, but the damage is too much. The March of the Machines one. are on the ground, and it's a free kill on Katomi. Last game, it was him and Ponyo dying, and actually no one getting the double kill. We might get the full reverse here. But lane, Fishman. Yeah, you said this edict could be dangerous early, and with the body blocks, we are going to see a death on a Fishman. Maybe they could get the return here, as Watson going to move forward, just needs to find another right click, but ring around the Rosie. Their pockets full of posies, however... Not full of enough life to survive oh, he's just that. Corpse. A bit far. Yeah, yeah, and he's salved up. Kashi. Shifting and surviving. But A-OK -okay there while no one is not. So that is another kill on this DK and starting to put some punishment onto the tower. Battery is solid on WS, but that isn't really doing enough just yet. And I think Bucking. he knows that Fish this man. is Lashrak coming over. It will have Edict if they can get on top of him. But now the multi-shot this time around does decent damage. However, he Fishman's still on the run with the blood grenade trying to get his wisdom. wisdom rune. Yeah, he's got it. <laughs> it's still pretty solid for them. And they get Ponyo. Ooh. Battery assault again. Ooh. I thought maybe there was a way. There. Rotating mm -hmm. They've got the damage. Do they have the kill? Yes, they do. That's double, I think. Yeah, maybe. Fishman Ooh. on the run. The Edict. The Cogs actually keeping him alive by keeping them under the tower. They're up 3,000 net worth as the chase is on for Fishman. They'll have a Burrow Strike. If they can catch up to him, they're going to try and pinch him in this corner. Yeah, he's gone. It's just a matter of time. It's not easy. We'll start That's with smart. the X. The immediate TP over. This could be from the Morphling. Go to the ghost ship. Let's try to get the kill on a Makoto. He ends up dead. Morphling not going to commit to the TP. Five heroes from Cloud9 here. Hmm. Oh boy. Watson under the tier one mid. Oh, the last right click from Ponyo to get the kill. Lesh. Oh dear. Did they get him? Joe Cam. Lesh. TPing and breathe fire right on top to get that kill in the last game when they had a lead like this and yeah. playing aggressive and forcing the map to get smaller. Yeah, because if you remember, they had the playmaker from mid lane. Makoto in trouble, hook shot lands, and they are trying to TP over to him, but the ghost ship flies through. They'll get the kill on Makoto, and now the epicenter blink burrow strike onto the clockwork. Fishman, though, yeah, tanky, but not tanky enough against three heroes. Have to see if they can find anybody though. Other Dragon Form, Blink Dragon Tail onto this Lashrak. Ponyo trying to help. Jokum though surviving. It was the help that was enough. And now no one getting turned on. We got the multi shot, the ghost ship flying through. Ponyo with Fishman in his face surviving. And Fishman actually needs to start to run the waveform over. They get the kill on a Fishman, but they lose WS and Jokum for this. And now Ponyo in trouble as he'll be hit with the X, thrown up into the air with the torrent, killed off via no one. And it is a three for one. You play, I mean, you have towers and you have vision around your heroes. I wouldn't mind that. For a DK? strike out of the DK, how tanky is he? Not looking tanky enough. Fight oh, on the edge of the defense matrix. It's still not going to be enough. Watson. Joe Cam gets the kill. Watson low. He has to walk away for a second, but he'll end up dying here. Makoto gets the kill. And now, is it all falling apart? They've got the battery assault on these heroes. They'll go for the blink, the epicenter. They'll get the kill on a fishman. They'll turn this on a DM. This is a good fight for Talon. They got to keep it this way, though, as they will finish off DM eventually. There's Tinker, maybe. Ah, uh, no blink on Tinker, though. On TI 2024, it says it's unpicked, but this guy has been picked quite a, a few times. Yeah, a bunch. Wrapping around on the left side, that rocket fire lands. They're slowed up for a moment. The blink dragon tail onto the track. They've got the shrapnel down. Coming out from Makoto, who's hitting away. Joe Kim low. The multi shot's in. Ponyo also low. They'll get the kill into Joe Kim. They'll take out Ponyo. The rest of this team is trying to get out of here, but the hook shot lands on a Makoto who's up on this cliff. A sniper up high, but a sniper who is very exposed, and that is the exact 
opposite thing you want to be you know you get on a cliff you hide you hit people from there unfortunately they also had the wards so they knew exactly where he is and this game once again top lane yeah uh, this is katomi in trouble yeah. guardian greaves he'll die he's the sacrifice even there are gonna try and maybe converge on his location but unbeknownst to akashi i think he's the one who's in trouble they're gonna look over they've got the blink and the dragon tail fishman he's right on him has the battery assault here come the double ships with the cannonballs and they will get this kill into akashi lives if they isolate him is if he has bkb which he Ooh. doesn't another one hook shot yeah hook shot Landing out, body blocking with the battery assault, allowing DM to catch up and get that X into the Torrent. He's so tanky, and though. Ponyo, very tanky. Warp flared, hit with the laser. We're questioning where he is at this moment in time. But hit with another laser with the marching machines down. Another warp flare coming Still through. Death. Taking a long time to kill this enchantress Watson. eventually eventually because now watson has lost his ages he's all down alone they, hey the enchantress did all the work needed watson's in so much trouble space certainly created and they get two kills out of the drow uh, all right <laughs> okay what it takes an hour and a half to kill enchantress <laughs> You have a lot of space to do things like that. X mark back, but he gets impaled actually. Well, now they're gonna try and eat away at DM. WS activates this bloodstone. Another two ships coming in with those cannonballs off the starboard side. Yeah, Morphling is back in, so comfortably kill her is the draw, right? Like if you're drawing, you're hitting her, like you prevent her from healing as well, so. Sense King. Find WS, hook shot, connecting. Cogs pushing, Burrows strike the opposite direction from the team, but eventually they will catch up and kill WS. He's fine. Link. And mid. Enchantress now going for the clockwork. This strategy doesn't work the same way when it's a clockwork and not an enchantress. But bottom lane, it looks like they might even want to force this fight. Waveform forward, Katomi. Battery Assault coming through, and now the Cogs from the Morphling, they've got the damage to kill off the Tinker. Just the Shard. I just say, by the way, 2500 health is crazy of Ponyo as they blink in the Lappy Center with the Burrow Strike. Hook shot through, Cogs around three. This could be a problem. Joe Kim and WS are dead with the Ghost Ships coming in. A good hook shot there Makoto. from Fishman. Makoto's going to be looked at. Can they get the kill out of this sniper? They're going to wait for him forward looking for Watson, but they've got themselves the silence for a moment. They'll take out Makoto. They'll look over at Akashi. He's going to try and fight this. Ponyo looking to do some damage, but he doesn't do any of that. And they'll kill off Akashi four years out of the side of town. And now for the next hour, take a look as Cloud9 will try to kill an Enchantress. Yeah, when the draw is hitting her Enchantress, it doesn't it's take It's a lot hour. easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Actually, they thought about it. They want to go to the high ground instead. Not going for that torrent land. Oh, oh boy. This is a problem. Sam King dead. Has buyback. Probably going to be forced to use it. If he doesn't want to lose a side, he probably has to because this DK plus Tinker combo is just dumb. Like, he's just healing him. The, the Matrix is there and then... Oh, Hex on edge. Far enough away, though. Able to get pushed back with the Hurricane Pike coming out from Akashi. And now they're going to try and fight this. They have the stun for a moment onto the Morphling. DM's going to go in with the Tidal Wave. Pulling in two. They've got the X. Now the pull back the Kunkka. It's Akashi who turned into this Kunkka. But a full step back. The Ghost Ship coming in. And Makoto, meanwhile, hitting off from the right side. But is it doing enough damage? Multi-shot oh, coming through. Hook shots there. Cogs around him. But again, able to be pushed out. Burrow's trying oh, coming through. Dumb. Hitting on a three. The damage on a catch. They're going to look over at Watson. He's got his Aegis taken away. And they'll kill off it. Up in the air is Joe Cam with that torrent. They start to back away. They look over as the BKB is going to be popped by Watson. Trying to TP out of this one. And gets away with just the sliver of health. Cloud9. Anyo not afraid to be the one who leads in because he knows he doesn't die that quickly and they are going to be in the March of the Machines which might be a tough battle. 
Tied away back, but Makoto hitting away, going after Fishman. This is a kill that they get so quickly. They're going to buy back on the clockwork, but they are in some trouble with Makoto out putting a lot of damage. They try to get on top of Watson. Watson takes the Aegis out of the hands of the Morphling. They get the kill on Joke as well as WS. They'll look over at Hanyo with a multi shot. They've got the right clicks in. Hanyo over Seal Totem to get some distance as Akashi pops the Manta and tries to leave now, but they hit the Hex. Sansky is back. They've got the FB Sander. They have the Burrow Strike. They go into the back line, but still, Watson, he's full health. He's starting to get a little bit low as Akashi goes after trims into the drought got the silence has the glacier of his own but they'll bring the tinker back into the fight we're bought back in x pulls back this sand king they'll get a kill on to ws once again Sniper. he's gonna be dead for two minutes no detection. Oh, he's able to silver edge and skirt away you know i said they're equally matched that's on high ground when you're defending a low ground however might be setter axe bottom setter axe this is a drow with no more amplified damage a little fire, the silence, the death of Joe Kim again. Yeah, this might be... This might be it. On you. Swing in. Oh, Akashi! Akashi! Oh, dear! Rapier Fulagi. Yeah, Divine Rapier, but you gotta start to defend. Makoto gonna try and right click away. He does have this divine rapier, but they are doing some damage. They've got and dive in on this morphling who's gonna force staff out of the cogs, but he's dead again. They find the dragon tail, they'll get the control, they'll take out Makoto. GG is called, and Cloud9 will take the 2 0 over Talon. It's just crazy how that matchup works. Like